Why would you not release these flight logs? Why would there be a protection of not going after releasing this information? Senator Blackburn unleashes on an FBI agent and calls to release flight logs. Let's watch this Capitol Hill clip. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigations gave me a stat. Once every two minutes, a child in this country is bought or sold for sex. Once every two minutes. These are little ones. That statistic is mind boggling. So when we talk about the things that are wrong, whether it's the migrant children, whether it's the foster children, whether it is children that are being recruited and groomed, if you were on this side of the dais, and you said, here are some immediate things that you could do. What would you encourage? Where would you encourage us to go first? Thank you for the question, Senator. I would say, uh, number one, when we're talking about resources, um, there's, there's kind of a few lanes with that. We can always do more with more resources. Uh, we always want to be strategic with what we have and make sure we're implementing and aligning those resources properly. If I was going to point to one thing, one of our biggest challenges when we're talking about human trafficking, and I touched on some links to transnational organized crime, or let's say more sophisticated criminal actors operating in some organized fashion, our biggest challenge across the board is the ability to defeat end-to-end -end encryption. Our, traditionally, our recipe for success in defeating criminal actors really across the board historically, lawfully identifying an organization identifying ways to exploit communications, money movements, those kinds of things, and through lawful access, through legal process from the court, obtain proper information from you know, communications, those kinds of things. The ability to move to end-to-end -end encryption does not really require that much level of sophistication. Uh, many off-the-shelf applications accessible to children um, are end-to-end -end encrypted. Our inability to exercise use of legal process to obtain that information, to identify the proper means and methods of a criminal organization to then defeat it are incredibly hampered by the use of end-to-end -end encryption. So having the Report Act pass, which would require, um, would enable NCMEC to hold things that come in on the cyber tip line longer would be helpful. Generally, ma'am, we try not to, to comment on pending legislation, but again, any, any ability to allow okay. us use of proper legal right. authority would be beneficial. That, that sounds good. Now, when you talk about transnational crime and identifying organizations, I've got to bring this forward again because I asked Director Ray about this a couple of weeks ago when he was before us. And we've got one of the biggest, most well-known, most high-profile sex trafficking rings ever in this Jeffrey Epstein case. And Director Ray didn't give me a very complete answer when I asked about transparency around that case and about releasing those flight logs so we can know who all else is involved in this. And you talk about the need to get information from these organizations and information from the court why would you not release these flight logs? Why would there be a protection of not going after releasing this information? Why would you not make public that information? Why would you not make public all of the video that has been captured from Jeffrey Epstein's Palm Beach townhouse, which the FBI has? Ma'am, I'm aware of the interaction with Director Ray. From exactly. Release those flight logs, release the videos, and let the pieces fall where they fall. I believe last week or the week before, our, our team would be happy to work on any formal responses. I'm not aware of any subpoenas that have come to the FBI for formal requests. But we no, you haven't gotten a subpoena because the chairman ended up adjourning twice before I could bring forward my request for a subpoena. But you're talking about the need shady 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 the need to get this information from these groups 
And here you have a group, an organization, and we can't get the information. And it is just ridiculous that we are sitting here, we have laws on the books, we have expectations of agencies, and we have a need for information. You've got it. We can't get it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Too many people are going to be implicated in those logs and videos. People really need to think before they choose to act. That's all it comes down to. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.